David Kant here with another question from the Question Bank in topic 10.2. What we're looking at is a partial field diagram for a gravitational field. There's a scale, so every large box is 2 meters, and we see some equipotential lines in the diagram, so not uh, field lines, but equipotential lines. We're asked a couple of things. We're asked for the direction and strength of the field at point P. All right. Well, I think that the uh, strength is going to be easier to solve first. So let, let's start with that. We know that the field strength is the negative potential gradient. So it's the change in potential with distance. When we look across the gap between the potentials, so we know the potential on each of these two curves, we see that the, the change in potential from negative 30 to negative 20 is 10. So we're not going to work this out as, as a strict equation. We're not going to worry about the negative sign because it just asks for the strength of the field not the uh, direction. So we can ignore whether it's 30 minus 20 or negative 30 minus negative 20, or even ignore the negative sign in the equation, because we just want the magnitude. So the difference between the uh, potentials is 10 joules per kilogram. And the change in position between those, pos those potentials is that physical distance between them, we highlighted in yellow, it's two meters. So we're looking at 5 newtons per kilogram. So we're looking at answers A or B. Now it only remains to answer uh, what direction, either to the left or to the right. Uh, the easiest way, I think, to answer this is to imagine the full uh, field diagram, to imagine the full equipotential diagram. This is gravitational field, so we're only talking about masses. So we can imagine maybe a mass about here at the center of the arc that this equipotential surface makes. We can imagine filling in that circle, and filling in this circle, and filling in this circle. And as you may know, the field lines in an equipotential surface get closer and closer and closer together the closer they are to the center of the field. Um, that's because the, the field is, is getting stronger at that point, so the potential gradient is getting steeper. Uh, and now we also know for gravitational fields, we can fill those in now, the field lines. We know that for a single mass system, they're always radially uh, inwards. So looking at the field line right here, we see that at point P, the field is pointing to the right. So the answer must be 